I'm alive. I'm alive. Just barely. Hey, hey. Hi guys, Shay Carl here. Um, look where I'm at. Do you see where I'm at? Come here, I'll show you. I'll show you where I'm at. Look. We're in the studio. There's Bronx. There's Ezekiel, all stretched out. Hey! H hey, Dan! What? You got a sword? No. <laughs> hey, darling! I'm a baby. I like your baby. <laughs> hey, Lufus! Ooh, I want to see him. Hey, Tim Deegan! Hey. How's it going? Is that Tim Deegan? <laughs> ah! Tim Deegan! <laughs> all right, what do you think, babe? Do you approve? So cool. Do you approve? I can't wait, yeah. Who do you think we can stuff in these lockers? Danny? Oh, she might fit. It's my legs. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's a remind Colette of what it was like in high school, remember? <laughs> when she got bullied all the time. Next, next time, get my homework done. <laughs> you can't do that on television? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they come out. You know that, Tim, you Canadian. Uh, anyways, studio tour, guys. The studio, we've been working our butts off. Danny mostly has built this. Tim came, we're gonna build a desk. Gavin's gonna bounce a basketball, and Bronx is gonna have three legs. That's a, that a deal? That a deal, Bronxy? I like to rub his nub for luck. He likes it, he likes it. He's like, oh yeah, rub my nub, I like that. I like when you rub my nub, Shay. Yeah, Shay, rub that nub. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was just petting the doggy. What are you talking about? So Tim showed up and we put him to work. Right away. Building this desk. Looks good. Thanks. It's going to be really cool when it's done. Very outdoorsy, very woodsy, very mountainous. I like it. I can't wait to see it. This is the podcast desk, guys. So we will be doing podcasts very soon. We're going to put this trim on right now. Trim out the top. Laminate the edges. And then we're going to... Uh, and then we're gonna stain the top with like a dark, uh, like a, a darker walnut, and then we're just gonna put a lacquer on here. Yeah, dude. And then we got the logs for the corners. It's gonna be sweet. We're gonna have a podcast back up and running very, very soon. Casey and Kaylee aren't home, so we're stealing their trampoline time. Daddy, you us. No, I'm too sick. I'm too tired. Daddy is on the mend. Yeah, Daddy doesn't need to be. Daddy can barely hold this camera up right now. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, being sick sucks. And it reminds me of all the people out there who have to suffer illness. And it's like, yeah, like chronic illness that, you know, they can't do anything about, that just, you just get, man, it sucks. You really take your health for granted until you lose it. And you're like, man, I really like being able to just walk around. For real, though, I mean, I just think about people that have to suffer sickness you know, like you forget, you forget how good it feels to be healthy. And I'm not talking like a cold, like you wake up with a runny nose and you got the sniffles, you take a few Tylenol and you feel better. I'm talking like you're pooping your pants, hugging the brim of the toilet, gushing your guts out, and you just beg for relief, just for it to go away. And you're just trying to do anything you can to feel better. And I just think there's so many people that are suffering every day and, you know, people that are suffering that don't have medical supplies, that, like can't even do anything. I think about our friend Molly who passed away and I think, bless her heart, she suffered pain and un so uncomfortable. So my heart goes out to everybody who suffers from illness. Cause it sucks, man. Take care of your bodies, you guys. You only get one of them. Health is so important, ugh. Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm kind of grateful that I was sick. I was, I was, I haven't been this sick. I tweeted that, and I'm not exaggerating. I haven't been this sick in 10 years. I don't know what it was, but I'm glad it happened. Cause it's like humbled me, kind of. It's like, oh man. I kind of like reroute your priorities. Like what's really important? Life, your family, 
you know. I haven't been on the internet, and I got on, I'm like, oh, people have been talking about Bruce Jenner, it looks like. I was scrolling through my Facebook, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a firestorm. I was like, looking at all that vitriol, all that fighting, so much fighting. It's like, that's not worth our time, people. There's people that are sick and are suffering and we're fighting over whether a dude wants to wear a dress or not. That's not important. We have people that are suffering that can't... People in Nepal, they can't even feed their kids. <sighs> Be grateful for your health and help others and love others. Anyways, all right, ladies. We got some business owners here. All right, I recently purchased some 4th of July bands. Let's see here. Best bracelets. Is that the name of your business? Okay, thank you very much, ladies. And earlier, before they made the bracelets, I had to sign up. I had to, they're 75 cents a piece, and I had to pick how many I wanted. And of course, I bought more than mom because I support my kids more. <laughs> All right, ladies. Thank you. I'm going to open that up and wear it. I appreciate it. Bye, good doing business with you. Yeah, this is where I upload videos sometimes because my internet sucks and I have to plug in this and the wireless doesn't work. So I have this great big house and this is where I do my work. Right in here, got it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open this now from the girls. Look at this cute little packaging. God, they taped it up. Okay, I purchased three red, white, and blue Bands. Oh, look at these. I'm going to wear this. America. That's for America right there. You ask me, you walk up to me, you say, Shay, what's that for? I say, it's for America. Okie doke. Anyways, do you like yours? Let me see yours. Can you, what's that for? Uh, Brock. it's flat. No, you say, America. America. No, Brock, listen, you got to say it like this. It's for America. Like that. It's for milk. Yeah, I like that. I like that growl. It's for America. You walk up, you see me on the street, I'm eating a snow cone. You see, you walking down the street and I'm eating a grape snow cone and you see this brace. I say, what's that brace for? I say, it's for America. That took up too much energy. Oh, I'm not fully healed yet. What, dude? You crazy monkey. Holy majolies. Yummy. This looks good. It's Burger Central up in here. Well, we don't have a grill yet, so we're just uh, doing it on the that oven. That looks good. Let's turn we this on, off. shall we? Yeah, thank you. There's the crew. Mowing the lawn. <laughs> it's precarious. This is what summertime's all about, isn't it, Daxton? Teaching them how to work the land. That's the way to do it. <laughs> hey, what are they doing? Do you want to do that too? Yeah? I bet you're next. Dad's just working the land. Ma! That's Dad. I'm Mom. No! Oh, it's a bird. See the birds? Oh, look, they're all the way up there. The tip, top tip of the tree. See the birds? They're loving their life right now. You got excited when you saw you come out here. <laughs> Wait, don't leave. He loves you. I go there. I know, it looks Wait. fun, huh? Wait, Avia! feels good to be semi back to health, the land of the living. I was, ugh, I don't ever want that. I do not wish that upon anybody. Such a miserable existence, laying in bed, coughing, 
and other bodily functions. Anyways, thanks for your support. I had I read a ton of very supportive messages from you guys, tweets, comments on yesterday's vlog. Thank you so much. Definitely could feel your prayers uh, strengthening me. And so I really, that means a lot to me. Thank you for your patience and for you guys wishing me to get well. I'm feeling a lot better, so I appreciate it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's a fairy.